Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and today my friends, we are talking Ninja Creamy. I am going to be sharing with you so many recipes that I have been loving in my Ninja Creamy. Now, no fret, if you don't own a Ninja Creamy, all of these recipes can be made into protein shakes simply with a blender. So I am so excited to share these recipes with you. My Ninja Creamy has become a staple in my life. Not only is it a great way for me to get in protein, but it's a great way for me to have a sweet treat every single day and a big sweet treat every day. So if you're excited, give this video a big huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not because I upload five new videos every single week. I I do have a previous Ninja Creamy video that I did about a year ago. I'll link that down below for you for even more recipes for your Ninja Creamy. I will also link my particular Ninja Creamy at the lowest price in the description box for you. You'll also find nutrition coaching where I offer personalized to you macros and calories. Highly recommend. This is how I've lost 140 pounds and have been able to maintain that weight loss. You're also going to find links and discounts to my favorite healthy things and come join our Facebook group. We would love to have you. So let's go into the kitchen and make ice cream. So the first base we're going to make is key lime pie. Like I said, all of these recipes are going to include clean, simple eats protein. This is my favorite protein and my and by far my favorite for ice cream. You can of course use any protein powder that you want. And remember, all of these recipes can be made into protein shakes as well. So the first thing I'm going to do is add eight ounces of Fairlife fat-free milk. This is going to give us an additional 13 grams of protein. And all I do is just weigh it out in fluid ounces on my scale. So I'm going to add eight fluid ounces, which is one serving or one cup. And then we'll add in the packet of Clean Simple Eats. Now, if you buy the protein by the big bag, which I do have a few big bags we'll be using for some recipes, you would just do one scoop. Each one of these packages is one scoop of protein powder. And then I just use my handheld frother. I bought this off of Amazon. I'll link it down below for you. And I just mix this until it is fully incorporated. That way when it freezes, we won't have any grittiness of the protein powder. You can add about a tablespoon of sugar-free pudding mix, I don't find that it's necessary. So I don't add it, it saves calories, it saves points, and this definitely still gives me the perfect ice cream consistency. Today's ice cream is key lime pie. This is one of my favorites from Clean Simple Eats as well. What Normally I would use the key lime pie yum crumbs, but I'm out. So I'm substituting one of my other favorite yum, yum crumbs that really goes with any ice cream. So here's my key lime base. I'm going to mix in some graham cracker crumbs. These are super low calories, super low point, and they definitely add some texture and crunch. The marshmallow whipped cream is really good with this, but like I said, any whipped cream will do. And then for my yum crumbs, I'm actually going to do the Cruncho Bunch, which just has a bunch of different flavors. I'll go ahead and pop exactly what's in these up here on the screen for you. But again, really good, adds a little bit of fruity, adds a little bit of texture. Light ice cream. <laughs> Another perfect consistency. I'm going to top it with some whipped cream, the yum crumbs, and the graham cracker crumbs. I mean, this looks incredible. The key lime pie is so good. It's very fresh, very bright, and perfect for summer, and you can't beat the crunch of those graham cracker crumbs and yum crumbs. Next up is Bananas Foster. This one is incredible. So I'm going to, again, zero out my food scale and add in eight ounces of my fat-free Fairlife milk and then add my Banana Foster protein powder. And again, same thing. Go ahead and mix that with your handheld frother. Really the star of the show when it comes to ice creams and the Ninja Creamy is the mix-ins and the toppings. I can't wait to share with you my favorite mix-ins and favorite toppings for all of these super delicious protein ice cream blends. So tonight's ice cream is the Banana Foster's base. And what I'm going to do is top it with some of the Smucker's No Sugar Added Sunday syrup. I have some frozen bananas here. I am going to pop these in the microwave for about 10 seconds. I want them kind of frozen, but not frozen solid. We're gonna do those as a mix-in to really bring out that banana flavor. We'll put a little whipped cream on there and let's get this in to the creamy. So we're going to go ahead and spin it on light ice cream. 
for ice cream looks really good. It is a little bit thicker consistency. So what I'm going to do is add in my partially frozen banana and that's going to be a mix in. I'm also going to add just about a tablespoon more of the Fairlife milk. Now that is perfect ice cream. So I went ahead and added some whipped topping, the caramel sauce, and look at that. Oh my goodness, you guys, this is banana foster ice cream. The points and calories and macros are for the entire pint. Whenever I make this, I usually eat the entire pint. You can refreeze what you don't eat and then re-spin it, but I typically, like I said, will eat the whole pint so I can get in all the protein. So I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for Bananas Foster. Now the last one we're putting together right now with the regular Fairlife milk is going to be peaches and cream. So same exact process, eight ounces of fat-free Fairlife, mix in my packet of protein powder, with my handheld frother. All right, tonight's ice cream I'm super excited about. This will actually be my first time trying the peaches and cream clean simple eats in ice cream form. So I'll pop up here on the screen after I test it, how I like it. But what I'm going to do is add some peaches. So I cut these up earlier, added a little bit of Lakanto golden brown sugar, substitute to them with a little bit of water and put them in the fridge. That way it would soak up the sweetness and kind of make a syrupy consistency. And I'm going to top it with the yum crumbs in toasted almond. This is so good on any fruity type of ice cream. It just adds really good texture and flavor. Don't forget I'll link yum crumbs down below with a discount for you. And then birthday cake ice cream per the usual. Look at that, you guys. I'm telling you the consistency is amazing. I'm going to go ahead and add in my peaches and then I'm going to put it on mix-in. And peaches and cream, ice cream, I mean, can we just talk about ice cream store quality, full of protein, the whole pint is one serving. I'll put all of the information here on the screen for you. I cannot wait to dig in. Now the next two bases, we're actually going to use chocolate Fairlife milk. So I'm doing mint chocolate cookie. I will tell you this is one of my favorites in ice cream. And we're doing the Fairlife chocolate milk. Now this still gives us 13 grams of protein. It has 140 calories versus 80. So it does have a little bit more calories and points, but honestly, I love how it, makes ice cream. You can actually make ice cream just out of the chocolate fair life. But for me, adding in a packet of Clean Simple Eats protein really helps give me the protein that I'm looking for in the ice cream. If you just use the chocolate fair life, you would still get 13 grams of protein, which is definitely nothing to sneeze at. But I prefer using the, pow the mixes because I get in an extra 20 grams with the Clean Simple Eats protein. And like I said, in my opinion, this brand makes the best protein ice cream and protein shakes. I love Clean Simple Eats. I use it literally every day, sometimes twice a day. So I'm going to mix that in. I smell mint. I am so excited. <laughs> Pop a lid on this one and toss it in the freezer. So for today's ice cream, this is honestly one of my favorites. This is using the chocolate mint cookie protein powder. I of course add whipped cream to that and then I love to add this Girl Scout Thin Mint Cookie Blend. It's, a, it's like a seasoning, but it tastes like crushed up Thin Mint Cookies. I got this at Sam's Club. It's amazing, I love it. I do like to mix in some of these mini chocolate chips. These are just the Nestle mini chocolate chip. I do about a tablespoon of those or 70 calories worth. I like to mix that in and then top it with the whipped cream and the Girl Scout seasoning. Spin around light ice cream. I mean, the consistency, look at that. I mean, this, the Clean Simple Eats protein powder makes the best ice cream. So I'm going to pop in my chocolate chips and do a quick mix in and I'll be back to show you mint chocolate cookie ice cream. Look how amazing this looks. Like I said, this is one of my all time favorite ice creams. This is Baskin and Robbins mint cookie ice cream with tons of protein and way less calories and points. Highly, highly recommend if you love mint and chocolate as much as I do. I also wanna show you these. I bought these off of Amazon. These are food flavoring oils. This is what they look like. These are really good to add to ice cream. If you feel like it just doesn't have enough flavor, you can actually add this into the base when you make it, or you can add it in once you mix the ice cream and then put it back on to 
respin and it'll put that flavor in there. These are really, really good. And like I said, I just got these off of Amazon, so I'll link them down below for you as well. So the next base we're gonna make is one of my favorite of the protein powders from Clean Simple Eats. This is the vanilla cola. Now I know that that sounds weird, but this base is, this protein powder is so good in yogurt, made into a protein shake and in ice cream. You can see how much I love it. I actually have the big bag. So once again, we're going to put the container on our scale, zero it out. We're using the regular Fairlife milk again for this one. And we're gonna do eight ounces. One scoop of our vanilla cola protein. Like I said, if you buy the big bags, uh, obviously it's gonna come with a scoop, which is the same amount that are in, that's in those little packets. So we're going to add that and froth it up, mix it up. It literally tastes like cola, and I don't know how they get a fizzy vibe to it, because it's not fizzy, but it tastes fizzy. And I'll show you how what I mix into this. It, it's seriously so good. One of my all-time favorites. So I'm going to make the cola ice cream. So this is the vanilla cola protein powder from Clean Simple Eats. What I like to mix into that is the pitted dark sweet cherries from Trader Joe's or really any frozen cherry. It literally tastes like a cherry Coke. I'm not even joking. I don't know what voodoo magic is in that protein powder, but it is so, so good. And then I top it with my whipped cream and yum crumbs. I actually shared yum crumbs in a what I eat in a day. These are the best topping for ice cream. They're like little sweet bits of crumbs. This particular one is the cherry and it pairs perfectly with the frozen cherries in the cola base. There is 20 different flavors. You can buy 20 of the sample packs which is enough for two to four ice creams for $20. So a dollar a piece, you can try it out, figure out what flavors you like the best, and then they sell them in big bags as well. I do have a discount for Yum Crumbs. I'll link it down below. You're gonna see it a lot in the ice cream recipes. Look at that, we've got cherry cola ice cream. Let me add my whipped cream, my Yum Crumbs, and I'll be back to show you the completed cherry cola ice cream and give you points and macros. And here is the ice cream. This looks so good. Like I said, I always eat the whole pint. So all of the nutrition information is for the entire pint of ice cream. So for the next base, I'm really excited for this. It's one of my favorite concoctions. I'm going to use the Clean Simple Eats Cotton Candy Protein Powder. This is cotton candy, legit cotton candy. It is so good. It's amazing in yogurt, amazing as a protein shake, amazing as ice cream. So we're going to do the Fairlife regular non-fat milk. Again, eight ounces our scoop of cotton candy protein powder. Mix it up, and what's so fun about this is it's blue. I mean, it is cotton candy vibes through and through, and I'm really excited to show you what I mix into this. This truly is one of my favorites using the regular Fairlife milk versus the chocolate Fairlife milk. So next is the cotton candy protein ice cream. So this is the cotton candy protein powder. I'm actually going to mix in some of these Hershey's cream cheese chips. These are really good with the cotton candy ice cream. Just a few as a mix in. We're going to top it with these yum crumbs. These are taste the rainbow. So they're kind of fruity and they actually pair really nicely with the cotton candy base. And then of course some birthday cake whipped topping. So there is the consistency again. Perfect. This one actually makes a really nice base. So I added in a few of the chips, the cream cheese chips. I'm going to put this back in the Ninja for a mix in, then we'll top it with the whipped cream and the yum crumbs. So here we have cotton candy ice cream with the cream cheese chips, some whipped cream, and just a tiny bit of the yum crumbs, not even a full serving, about 10 calories worth. So this is one of my other favorite ice creams to make. This is the German chocolate cake. Clean Simple Eats, the Chocolate Fair Life. I top it with the marshmallow whipped cream. You could really use any whipped cream, but this one just adds a really good flavor. And then I mix in a couple tablespoons of pecans to really give it all the German chocolate vibes. So there's my German chocolate base. It's so perfect. And then I put in two tablespoons of chopped pecans, and then I'm just going to pop it back in on mix-in. German chocolate cake ice cream. Oh my gosh, this looks amazing. Like I said, this is really truly one of my favorites. It is so good. It is literally German chocolate cake packed with protein. Tonight's ice cream I am super stoked for. So this is the Clean Simple Eats brownie batter protein along with the chocolate Fairlife milk. And we are making basically Snickers flavored ice cream. So we're going to top it with some of the Smuckers, no sugar added or sugar-free sundae syrup in caramel. Our Snickers shaker, this is going to add 
all the Snickers flavor. By the way, this is amazing. And then I'm gonna use the marshmallow whipped cream. Again, any whipped cream will do. Ah, serious perfection. I love how perfect consistency Clean Simple Eats is with the Fairlife milk. It's so easy of a base to make. This brownie batter is super versatile. There are so many different combinations that you can make, but let me add all my toppings for Snickers. All right, I've added my Snickers topping, a little bit of that sugar-free caramel sauce, some whipped cream, and we've got Snickers ice cream. Thank you for joining me for today's Ninja Creamy video. I hope you enjoyed seeing all of my favorite concoctions using Clean Simple Eats protein. These are seriously the simplest ways to make ice cream, and hands down, the best flavor, the best texture, and they are packed with over 30 grams of protein. And as a reminder, you can make all of these recipes into protein shakes. So if you don't have a Ninja Creamy or you're on the fence of purchasing a Ninja Creamy, you can still enjoy these amazing sweet treats this summer. Again, I will link Clean Simple Eats down below for you with the discount code. I will link my Ninja Creamy as well as my previous Ninja Creamy video. And if you enjoyed it, give it a big thumbs up. Again, subscribe if you're not. I would love to have you here. And don't forget to come on over and join our Facebook group. It's free, it's supportive. Everybody is welcome no matter what plan you're following, whether you're trying to lose weight, maintain your weight, gain weight, everybody is welcome. So come and join us. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.